everybody welcome back to my channel this is Zesta Herba soap skincare and lifestyle today we'll be talking about SLA SLES powder um, paste okay this SLES paste is quite inexpensive it is a very good foaming agent and it is found in commercial quantities around it is quite easy to get and it is effective it is gotten from the parent compound SLS SLS. This SLS is also gotten from palm kernel oil and coconut oil. Okay, so our SLES is gotten from the etylization of SLS to get our SLES, which is more gentler on the skin and less irritating compared to SLS. Okay, this SL SLES is used in a lot of household and cosmetic products like our shampoos, our soaps, our toothpaste. And even in intimate fem in feminine products, intimate feminine products, okay. So it is quite good. This SLS is usually um, sold as a thick gel. That is because in that in that way, I think at about seventy percent strength, at that at that form, it is easier to transport, and it is also less prone to microbacterial com contamination compared to when to when it is in the more dilute form then the more dilute form is the form that is used in our commercial products like our shampoos our our soaps and all that it is usually used between the percentage of 25 to 28 percent so i'll be giving you calculations on how to dilute it for 27 and 28 percent Today we'll be making for 25% SLES. So as I said earlier on, I already have a video on how you make your SLS dilution. Okay. So as now we'll be diluting our SLES paste. Okay. Remember, this paste is useful in making our shampoos. It's useful in making our body baths. It's useful in making a lot of our cosmetic wash products is it not so and it's usually used in the dilution of 25 to 28 percent so i will be dropping the quantities you need for 25 percent 27 percent and 28 percent in case you want to make it from your slaes paste okay so this are what we need we need our water we need our SLS paste and we need our preservative that is paraben free. Okay. Our water we are using 350 ml of water. Then for our SLS paste we are using 125 grams. And then our um, for our preservative we are using 1 ml or 1 gram. So before the video ends, I'll give you the amount you need to fetch to make your 27% and your 28%. And then you now add it up to your 500 mils. But for this particular video now, I'll be showing you how to make your 25% SLES from your paste. From your SLES paste. Now, I've already pre-measured this. This is my 125 mils of my SLAS paste and this is my 350 mils of distilled water. I'll be transferring it into this bigger bowl. Well, I'll be, why I'll be doing so is because I will need to use shear force to mix it using my mixer. If you have a stick blender, you can use that also. That will be even more faster. So now, I will turn in, I'll first pour in my water okay you should not put in your sles paste in you should not pour in your water on your sles paste instead you should put in your paste into water that is that is the right procedure 
to follow okay always add always add it to water and not the other way round so we'll now pour in our paste this is our sles paste as i said earlier on please always watch my videos to the end always watch my videos to the end there might be something i will add in that i might say in the course of the video that would have been what would have helped you in that video or you'd have you would have missed by not watching the video to the end so i will now mix okay so it has dissolved and you can see how foamy seriously foamy it is okay this foam will definitely come down if you should make it too concentrated this is what will happen it will become crystalline and gel okay i made this yesterday and i can assure you now it's even softer it's even softer now the way it is like this it's even so softer yesterday it was even more stronger and harder than this okay so now i'll put in my preservative at one percent okay now remember i told you that this paste because it's more dilute it is more prone to bacterial infection that's why you need to put in your preservative especially if you're not using it immediately for your liquid soap for your shampoo or for your body bath or any other product you want to use it for the reason why it is usually sold in 70 percent form is because it is easier to transport the 70 percent form than these other more diluted forms and also at that 70 percent form it is highly gel like and it is difficult for bacteria activity to take place so it doesn't spoil easily so we mix in our preservative i'll now pour it into my glass beaker so that we'll see how dilute it is and then we'll see how our final product looks you can see it has dissolved now now okay so i'm going to pour this back into my beaker and allow the salt to settle okay then we'll be back to see our final product this is our final product you can see how it looks you can see very clear these are to make your 25% LS, SLS, SLES, either 27 or 28%. This is how to do it. Get a very clear viscoid liquid. You add your preservative, you see. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. You get your 27% SLS, depending on the amount you want to get. Let's say you, you want to use 500 you want to get 500 mils as your final volume. You calculate it this way. You you get your 27 percent divided by 100 times of so 500 mils, which is the final volume you want to get. That will give you a total. Give you 100 and 135 grams of SLES that you fetch, you measure out, and then make it up to 500 grams to 500 mils with your distilled water if you want to make 28 percent of your sles and still assuming your final product your final volume that you want to get is 500 mils that will be your 28 all over 100 times 500 500 mils and it will give you 140 grams of sles paste to take and dilute to make it up to 500 mils with your distilled water and by the way your sles is also the same with your texapon with the texapon we buy in the market okay it is actually a dilute form of or the gel form of our sles it also comes in powder form okay so whether you're using the powder or you're using the paste the same formula you use to get your dilution